Overnight, Britain swam to glory at the Olympics, grabbing not one but two new silver medals in the pool. And one of those silvers went to Siobhan Marie O'Connor in the women's 200 individual medley. And we are so thrilled to say we're joined by two of the proudest <laughs> people and sleep-deprived people in Britain, her grandparents, Doreen and David Hotham, who are live in their home in Wiltshire. Let's take a look, though. We were filming them at about 3.30 this morning when they were watching Siobhan go for silver. Stroke, didn't you? What was going through your mind? Oh, oh the, I don't know. <laughs> it was just fantastic. She did us so, so proud. Well, she's done us all. It was an, it, she's done us all proud. Listen, tell us what Siobhan is like, because we all want to know her now, don't we? What was she like as she was growing up, and what kind of young woman is she? She's determined in, a, in a, everything she does, but she. To her, to her credit, she is modest with every success she, ha she has, and I think anybody knows I will say that. So, we, we, you know, I can't re repeat it often enough. We're so very proud of her. She was always a very happy little girl, yeah, and a lot of, a lot of fun. Right from being very tiny, she was, and, and she always threw herself into everything that she did. And um, I'm so delighted that all the work that she's put in all over these years has paid dividends like today, which is fantastic, absolutely fantastic. And was she always into swimming? Do you remember when you first took her to the pool or to the seaside? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, from yeah. about six years old. Once well, she, once she started, there was no stopping her. No, she loved it from the yeah. word go. And her mum and dad believed that was swimming was a, a life skill, and and she did go swimming with us in the little pool in Bradford on Avon when we were looking after her, and also pools wherever they lived in Corsham. Yeah, member of the Canesham uh, Swimming Club near Bristol, and uh, I expect they're very proud of her this morning. Oh. Well, we are all proud of her. And listen, have a fantastic yeah. celebration <laughs> uh, when she gets home uh, and give her a big hug from all of us here. We are extremely proud of her achievement. She broke her own She's amazing. British she gets record, some sleep as well, yesterday. both of you, because you're going to yeah. need to have been up all night. Right, yeah, she did. She broke she, her own record. She did. And a British record, yeah. It is tough to come <laughs> forth, but you've also got to look on paper. If you weren't even expected to make a final, then a fourth could be deemed as a, good, course, a good result. Because yeah. it's a big, wide world out there, and, it, and the Olympics is a pinnacle. So a fourth isn't really a failure, no. but to the sports when it is a little bit like, oh, it's so it's close to It's crushing, especially, I'm guessing, if you're running towards the end of your career. Yeah.